if lambda be the ratio of okay lambda be the ratio of the roots of the quadratic equation in x the quadratic equation is given that 3m square x square plus m into m minus 4 x plus 2 equals to 0 then the least value of m for which lambda plus 1 by lambda equals to 1 is okay so he has given that lambda be the ratio of the roots okay let consider the roots of the given quadratic equation in x okay so what is the quadratic equation he has given 3m square into x square plus m into m minus 4 into x plus 2 equals to 0 okay so this is the quadratic equation in the problem he has mentioned okay let consider the alpha and beta are the roots for this quadratic equation and if alpha and beta are the roots then we can write as sum of the roots okay so we know that ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 quadratic equation if this has alpha and beta are the roots then we can write the sum of the roots equals to minus x coefficient by x square coefficient that is minus b by a and product of the roots is constant term by x square coefficient now here we can write it as sum of the roots alpha plus beta equals to minus of x coefficient what is x coefficient m into m minus 4 by x square coefficient 3 m square okay x square coefficient is 3 m square okay right then what is the product of the roots the product of the roots is constant term okay 2 by x square coefficient 2 by 3 m square okay so these are the information we retrieved from the given information and what is another condition is given if lambda be the ratio of the roots and what he has given that lambda is ratio of the roots that means lambda can be written as ratio of the two roots we can write as lambda equals to alpha by beta so this is the condition he has given then what is another condition he has given lambda plus 1 by lambda equals to 1 okay lambda plus 1 by lambda equals to 1 if lambda plus 1 by lambda equals to 1 simply replace lambda as ratio of the roots that means lambda can be replaced by alpha by beta then what we can obtain this is as lambda plus 1 by lambda equals to 1 can be written as lambda equals to alpha by beta plus and the reciprocal of this lambda so 1 by lambda can be written as beta by alpha equals to 1 okay right so now if we take lcm we write this is as alpha beta then alpha square plus beta square equals to 1 so which can be written as alpha square plus beta square equals to alpha beta and we can write this is as alpha square plus beta square as alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta okay so which is equals to alpha beta so we can write over here this is as alpha plus beta whole square equals to 3 times of alpha beta okay alpha plus beta whole square equals to 3 times of alpha beta and now we have the things okay alpha plus beta what we have written alpha plus beta whole square equals to 3 times of alpha beta so this is the condition we obtain now substitute the values of alpha plus beta and alpha beta these two values in this condition so if we substitute the uh, the above equation can be written as so what it is minus of m into m minus 4 by 3 m square okay which is alpha plus beta whole square equals to 3 times of alpha beta which is nothing but 2 by 3 m square okay 2 by 3 m square okay right so if we simplify this 
so where here m will be cancelled out and we get it as m minus 4 whole square by 3m whole square directly i am making the simplification it is m minus 4 whole square which is equals to m square minus 8m plus 16 by so what is 3m whole square means 9m square which is equals to so what we are having 3 into 2 by 3m square 3 and 3 will cancel out and we can write this as 2 by m square okay 2 by m square and again here the m square and m square will be cancelled out then what we can obtain over here it is m square minus 8m plus 16 equals to cross multiply what is 9 into 2 18 and we can write this is as m square minus 8m so 16 minus 18 is minus 2 equals to 0 okay so this is the information we obtained over here so m square minus 8m minus 2 which is in the form of some what it is quadratic equation in variable m okay quadratic equation in variable m and the question what is asking us to find the least value of m so we can write it as here by comparing these two okay we can write it as a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 8 c is equals to minus 2 and we can find the values of m is equals to minus b minus of minus 8 plus 8 plus or minus square root of b square 64 okay b square minus 4ac so what it is minus 4ac minus 4 into a into c by 2a okay by 2a so we can simplify this is as m equals to okay m equals to 8 plus or minus so 64 plus 8 square root 72 by 2a a is here it is 1 okay by 2 and we can write this is as 8 plus or minus so we can write as 36 into 2 36 as 6 root 2 by 2 okay if we take 2 as a common from the numerator we can directly i am writing here it is as 4 plus or minus 3 root 2 okay so now we can obtain m is equals to 4 plus 3 root 2 or m is equals to 4 minus 3 root 2 okay the two values we are obtaining so the least value is 4 minus 3 root 2 so let uh, go for the options what he has given in the options so the options he has given as okay so 2 plus sorry 2 minus root 3 is the first option 4 minus 3 root 2 second option minus 2 plus root 2 and 4 minus 2 root 3 so what we obtained over here m is equals to we obtain 4 minus 3 root 2 so then we can write it as what is the option for this question is the option b is the correct one